Hi, how are you? It is 10 a.m. on Thursday the 8th of August and it is time, time for... Day in my beginner! Yay! So how are you? So how are you? Are you alright? Are you having a good day? Have you had a good day by the time you get round to watching this? No. I hope so. No, because we're going out in a minute. So I filled out all of yesterday's because um, with it being Wednesday yesterday, I did a live instead. So that was that was cool. Um, oh, I've got something in here that I can't show you because it's too similar to something else. Hang on while I move it out of the way. There you go. So that's <laughs> no, leave it, please. Leave it, please. No, leave it alone. Um, remember what I was going to say now um, oh yeah we set up next week so we're in this one only did a little 33 using my um, current stencil because I'm waiting on a new one I don't I've even lost the bloody stencil now I am not doing well today people oh, this is it there it is yay found it I love this stencil Mary I love this stencil Mary sent me this so yeah um because i i wasn't happy with the way i'd drawn 33 because i hand drew this 32 up here and it's 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 all right but it's you know when i tried to do two threes together you could tell it was hand drawn because they didn't look the same so i got a bit cross with it and said sod it i'm gonna put a little 33 in and um a mini calendar because i haven't had a mini calendar because you know I've done this little version and I really missed it actually even though I don't actually use it for anything it's just there for reference I have missed my little calendar so my little calendar is back this week so this double spread will take up the next two weeks and then I've got my template and some notes over here okay so yesterday I went to Lloyd's yay me I have not added, um, I have not sorted the, the, the laundry yet. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the beginning and finish off yesterday's. So I did day face cream, I did not wear makeup. Um, I've written that I did the challenges, but you know what, I don't think I actually did. No, I meant to write it at the end of that and I didn't. Okay, I will do it in a sec, even though I've done it that I have. I did not have booze, but I did have more than one can of fizzy. I did have chips, I did not craft, did I do about today, I've put that I did, but you know what I'm like, uh, yes I did about today, I did not do the garden, but I did do my weights and my night care, so yesterday I put that my pain was at 443, but I also put a little love it face, because Daryl and I went shopping, and I struck gold in one of the charity shops. Now I did show everybody in the live, so for the first hour of the live it's just me showing my um, haul, but I think I might actually re-record that for people who don't like to watch lives, because I know not everybody does, I personally don't like to re-watch lives. I don't mind watching them as they happen, but I don't like re-watching them because I can't join in. That's, that's what basically, it's different a video like this because I'm not interacting with anybody I'm just I'm just talking to you okay you there hi um, so that's a bit different but when there's live going on and you can hear that person talking to other people and you can see what the other people are saying and you're like oh but I know the answer to that you can't interact and I, I personally don't like it I don't know why this is why I rarely rewatch lives I missed Cindy's live the other night and I haven't rewatched it I turned it on and I noticed that I've started a trend with the uh, picture up in the corner because she's doing it as well now <laughs> or she did for the live anyway so yeah um, but yeah we had a brilliant day shopping so I might refilm the haul part of it for people just for people who like to see other people's hauls shopping hauls you know so I might refilm that a bit later yesterday I blew my steps out of the water um, because I worked really Two, fucking hard one, I haven't yet. I haven't moved yet. <laughs> well, I have, but not steps wise. So I did twenty five two one seven, and that was ten point 
six four miles. Mom? Yes. I found Buzz Lightyear. You've got Buzz Lightyear, have you? Right, so um, I guess we were down to here. I have not bought postcards. I have not ordered a school jumper and a hat yet. I have not found a fridge magnet for Jolene's daughter Kelly. Um, I have written to Wendy. I've just got to post that. Okay. So, what I think I'm going to do is do yesterday's word down there quick. And that was loyalty. That's a good word. So, let's grab my little reference and then we will do today's planning part. See? Okay, loyalty. I quite like how that looks. Photo Daryl and I out shopping yesterday. Right, let's change up the pen. Mm. We are down to the bright fluorescent fucking yellow. So we need to. I have actually been quite busy this morning. Um, you know, what I really, really, really hate is when you're in the summer holidays or the school holidays and you've got more than a couple of days off so that the kids you know their their bed their waking up time might change dependent on the kind of family you are um i'm a lazy bitch and if i can sleep in as the morning i will um and um this morning i woke up daryl was still asleep and i hate that i hate when i wake up and it's like dude why is he not awake yet you know so um yeah i was quite like miffed that i'd woken up so i went round and woke him up i woke alex up too but he asked me to for work so yep i woke everybody up this morning because <laughs> i'm a cow and um then i just i don't know i just didn't sort of sit around too much this morning usually i sit down for quite a while and drink tea and wake up slowly with the world even though i don't you know i get a, get a headache from sitting reading the internet on my phone i need to sharpen this but i don't know where my sharpener's gone oh yes i do it's hanging on my icebox there you go it's been a while since i've used my pencils and my sharpener's all now i've got to pull it forward I've lost the little metal thing that makes it stay forward and it's just collapsed on me as well. <laughs> oh my giddy aunt, I don't even know how that went. Oh, now I've just dropped it in the bin. <laughs> Crafting with Sam, having fun. What oh, goes inside? Dizzy bitch. <laughs> I thought it clipped on the bottom, it doesn't, it slides inside. Chilly today in comparison. According to my phone, it's only 18 degrees outside about now. I don't know whether it's going to rain or not. It looks really grey and freaking depressing. That's why I don't normally use colouring pencils because they take so long. Does my head in. Right, okay, so I have put day done day face cream and I've put some mascara on oh this is that lush bright yellow that I like it's like dude this shit glows it doesn't last though I think it fades after time you have to keep an eye on this because I'm pretty sure that this goes like weird later I'd like to keep an eye on that to see what it does right I didn't do a card yesterday I just I, I didn't get around to it we went out shopping and then it was just like we rushed out the door okay so we've got here the page of blades okay the um the page usually refers to a younger person 
um, and blades are more towards your your mind, your your logic and your reasoning and your your mental abilities. You can see what is going on here. Look, they are out in nature. They are learning. They are studying. They are they are they're discovering life, and it's a fantastic. I mean, look at this kid's face. The pure light ha! on this, you know. Dad's there in the background enjoying every minute of it. You've got a little sleeping hedgehog and you've got beautiful flowers. It's got a reference book that he's looking at. Um, yeah, saying hi to a wee snail. Po probably sister, being as they all have a slight family resemblance, is watching. There's a bird in the background with a wee worm in its mouth. It's a fab photo or a fab depiction, if you like. Um, so, yeah the the page is all about learning and getting in touch with the world around you i put it's a time for learning and what an interesting world we live in and i think that refers to a certain somebody like that because the school that daryl is about to start they um their first couple of years are very very play orientated and they spend a good 90 percent of their time outside They've got what they call yeah. a forest school. Yeah, um, yeah, that's big school. That's big school, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to be a boy and then I'm going to be at that school. You're going to that school soon. Um, yeah. They do a lot of play-based learning. They've got a massive garden where they can do pouring and measuring and all that kind of thing. And then they've got forest school, which is down at the end of the school field. And it's a cordoned off area and it's, it's not no. horticultured <laughs> in any way so if a branch falls from a tree it's left there so the children get to study it and see what happens so yeah i'm pretty sure this card is referring to that and i think he's gonna have a blast um yeah it looks i mean it looks i want to go that's how how much fun that school looks i'm just like oh, can i start in september too <laughs> but his 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 teacher said i could right so i went to sleep about quarter past ward like i said i woke up at eight o'clock i was not impressed with myself i was like dude go back to sleep but i just i was awake and that was it why were you awake at bedtime oh, i know why was i awake at bedtime what a silly time to be awake you were so lazy being up i was so lazy excuse me i came and woke you up this morning why i I didn't want to get up, I want to stay in bed. You wanted to stay in bed. I'm going back into bed. <laughs> <sighs> when I got upstairs, he built like a, a, a barricade into his room. It was pillows and cushions and a few toys right across the bedroom doorway. And I, there's part of me that wants to leave them there because it's funny. And he's built it but then there's also the part of me that like if there's a fire in the night i'm gonna kill myself trying to get him out so i moved it all like last night when he woke up this morning he had a right go at me he's like hey i built a jail where's my jail gone <laughs> I was like uh so <laughs> how how do you explain you just you know oh i felt so cruel right we are on thursday the 8th i have done the loo I have done the bathroom. Yes, I have cleaned the bathroom already. I did it before I came downstairs. Mainly because Alex trimmed his beard yesterday. When it gets quite long, he likes to just sort of take it back a bit. And he's so he gets hair everywhere. He uses an electric razor and there's hair all over the fucking bathroom. And I can't stand it because it gets in everything and it just it looks messy as well. So yeah, I had to clean my entire fucking bathroom because he trimmed his goatee and it's just like dude um, and that's all I've done so far I need to go and hang some laundry out but I don't know whether to because of this weather so <laughs> yeah right um, I'm out with mother today and I'm gonna see if I can go and do some shopping rush into Shanklin and get the bits that I need for um, sending off okay so we've done that bit Right, so there we've got an eight. Now, the word for today. Bravery. 
love how they do the R at uh, the B. Oh, that looks great. Okay, bravery. Dude, that is great. I love it. But yeah, I've got a funny feeling that I've discovered it doesn't last. I think I discovered that last time I used it because it came out at the beginning of the month, a couple of months ago. And then, oh, if you're wondering what that gap is for, it's for the little bow for my sister's hair to go in. But I can't put it in now because it'll make the rest of the book lumpy and that's annoying. <laughs> so I stick, it gets stuck in at the end. Yeah. I just save it, it gets put aside and I save it until ready. So yeah, there we go. Um, receipt for my chair. I want to do another mandala today. I might have a go at doing that a bit later on tonight. When I get home. Right, so. I need to go check the laundry. Give the banister a quick wipe. Give the dress table a quick wipe. And the rest is done tonight. So there we go. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the evening edition. Have you had a good day? I hope so. I've had a good day. Yeah, it's been quite good. Yeah, it's alright. I thought I'd lost an earring then. Um, right. Uh, I will definitely show my cup. Did I do the lettering? I can't remember. Yes. No booze. I have had fizzy. Yeah, see that already looks like it's starting to degrade slightly. Remember those invisible ink pens when we were kids where you could write on it and then go over it and it would disappear? Everybody had one. It reminds me of those. Uh, chips, did I craft? Well, yeah, I did about one row earlier. Um, I'll do about today and I did my garden and then it promptly rained. I bought two new plants today. Oh, I've done my weights. I am... Um, did a little bit of training, well not training, but um, a little bit of a workout with Alex. <laughs> I did 25 squats, um, 15 push-ups, then I sat down to do sit-ups and I nearly peed myself on the first one. <laughs> must remember to go to the toilet before I do those next time. <laughs> the bladder of a mother with five children. <sighs> So today the pain was actually not too bad at all today. I feel so much better. So I think I'm going to put it at that one, which compared to the beginning of the week is a huge improvement. Because, you know, I had a couple of really, 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 really bad days. And I had a new thing arrive today. Would you like to see my new thing? This is my new thing. Look at the size of this. Do you know what? I was so surprised because I thought, you know this is going to be really freaking heavy and to buy it i bought this on aliexpress i can link it down below if you wish to buy it it was seven pounds 89 which i thought wasn't too bad and um it's actually it's gone up to eight pound and three pence now and it was free shipping so i was sort of like curious because i thought it was going to be really really heavy but it's not it's really light and that's because there's nothing underneath here can you see that is empty you've got your wheels here to change each thing that's your stamping platform there it's 12 characters long so yeah i was quite impressed with that so i need to have a play with it to see um how well i can do with it but I'm quite pleased with that. I love it, look at the size of it. But it's got punctuation on here, numbers, dashes, dots, obliques. There's kisses, there's a yen symbol. 
with dollar symbol, there's an asterisk, there's a hashtag, there's an at, there's an ampersand, there's a couple of little X's, there's not a pound symbol on here. Oh, there you go, what a surprise. It, for some reason, has zeros and O's, although they look exactly the same. All uppercase, yeah, and 12 to choose from. Which I thought was bloody brilliant, personally. And then you have a blank spot, so if you don't want to... I mean, I know that, because um, I found this due to um, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, and I know that she just moves hers along. She just sort of slides them along. Mine don't look like they want to do that very well. Not only that, but I also think it's going to stretch, you know? She sort of slides them all so that you get a gap, like that. But I just thought, well, if you space these all out quite nicely, um, you just slide to the blank bit there, wouldn't you? And then you haven't got to worry about it. I would probably have them more in the middle and I would um, to the sides so that they uh, have a bit of room. You can see where they're supposed to sit because of the straightness of the, of the thing. But yeah, I would probably do it so that they are more together without a big gap, you know, so that it looks even when you stamp. But whoa, isn't that not a stamp and a half? I'm really, really pleased with it. There's not a lot of room, so if you've got long nails, this could be quite hard, actually. So I think I would probably keep all of these. One, two, three, on blank until I'm ready to use them. I think once I got the hang of that, it wouldn't be too bad. I think you would still want to be quite careful about how you uh, how you colour it, though. I could play with this for hours, you do, you guys. I actually find it easier to just pull it with my thumb than I do. Um... Shut up, cat! Oh, that's better. Move the W a bit. Oh, that's awesome. I will have a play with that in a minute. <laughs> and the Versa Magic Inks stamp really well. Mary, you were right, love. They stamp really well. Yay! <laughs> cool. So, it feels actually really good if you're into stamping i would recommend this a lot i personally would not do what barbara does and that's no criticism to barbara whatsoever that's just how she works and that's fine but i found after i fiddled with them and moved them all slightly some of them are leaning like this one look now as i twist that it is going to straighten out again See, as it hits the sides, it will straighten out again. And I think it will find its own set of spaces. So I'm inclined to sort of space it out and just leave it. Easier, obviously, to clean them when they are on the platform. Chuffed to pieces with that. I will be putting a link down below in the um, materials I use list. So I need to add my two punch boards and my mega stamp in case anybody is interested. If there's anything else you see me using and I haven't listed it down below, give me a shout and I will add it in. Oh yes, I'm going to sit and play with that later. Right. Um, I think all in all, today was quite a good day. My chunky stamp. Find a home for that. So I think we will do a nice normal his eyes the same fucking size though. <laughs> so eight. Eight of August already. So time fly. Where does the time go, people? It's gonna get awfully messy with all these little sun bits, but who gives a shit? I don't. It's my diary. If you don't like it, don't watch. 
I'm not going to get much more than what I've got now. I've hit 12,000, 12,201, um, because we've got bingo tomorrow, and um, I want two lots in that. Oh shit, we're already on the 7th, guys, and I don't know. Massive stamp. I don't want to out of room if I keep writing so big. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so, yeah, look, that looks faded now compared to what I've just done. Not to you guys, maybe, but to me it does. I think this is going to disappear, you know. Um, on the dishwasher, I haven't cleaned the kitchen out. Yeah, I may not use that pen again. Okay. I bought the postcards. I bought loads of postcards. I have not yet found a fridge magnet for Kelly. Is it Kelly or Kelly? Kelly, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I've got to order the school jumper and the hat in a minute. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm sorry it wasn't like it's not mega exciting without me drawing anything, is it? Um. I might do a mandala in the corner in a minute. If I do, I'll um, record it, hyperlapse it, and sort of chuck it in here. Okay? Um, but if not, I might do it over the weekend. I don't know. I don't know what I've got planned yet. Um, I, but I, I've got a load of postcards to write tonight. I've just pulled five addresses off of post crossings. So, yeah. Um, so I need to get on with those because you only get a limited amount of time to do it. And then um, all of you guys will want postcards as well, which I'm going to do those this weekend. So let's stick those in my weekly. So, um, do I have a colour for YouTube? Yeah, I have a YouTube colour. So let's ow, use my YouTube colour and I'll stick it in here. That's pretty much it then. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, such as it was. Also, it feels like it was a bit boring, really. I didn't really do anything interesting, except played my stamp. And I know that not everybody's into stamps, so yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day and the rest of your evening and 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 all of that lot. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. I like up and leave us a comment because you know that we like comments it's just you know it's just that's just, just how it is um so yeah leave us a comment click the book and you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell that appears down below and youtube is in a good mood <laughs> it's all dependent on youtube it's not down to me but if you click the bell hopefully you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you in a friday's edition of today in my bujo take it easy guys <laughs>